In this video, we will learn about the data types in NumPy. Consider data types as a collection or, or categorization of data items. For example, we can have string data types, integer data types, boolean data types and others. In NumPy, the following are the data types. We have B for boolean, U for unsaid integer, F for float and others are also visible like for string we use S. So in this video, we will be discussing the following examples where we will create simple arrays and we'll try to get the data type of it so that we can understand that which are int and which are string types as per our examples. With that, we'll also try to set the data type size with the with the D type parameter, let's say for a string type. We will also see how we can convert one data type to another using the as type method. So let's see. At first, we will get the data type of a NumPy array with integer. So we'll be adding, we'll be creating an integer array and we'll print its data type. Let's see. So we have created a new project in PyCharm. So let me create a file quickly. Press enter. And this will create our first Python file. In this example, we will create a NumPy array with integers and will display its data type. For that, import NumPy library as np. This is an alias. Now let us use, let us create an array object n is equal to NumPy dot array method to create an array. Simply, we saw this before also. Add some values, let's say. We added three values. Okay, and just print the data type using the D type property. That's it. Go to file, save all, right click and run it. So here it is. In 32 is the type for our array with integers. Okay, in this way we will also work around the second example. In the second example, we will be getting the data type of a NumPy array with strings now. So for that, we will be using the same D type property. Okay, so this is our PyCharm ID. We will be getting the data type of a NumPy array with strings. Import. We added an alias np, create a new array object, create an array. Let's say we added string values. Okay, we added five values, five string values. That's it. Just print the type and let's see what is visible. Using nd type, using d type, file, save all, file, save all, right click, run demo to, sorry, arrays, no problem, right click. So the following is visible. That means Unicode string is visible here and the following type is visible. Now let us see another example. Now we will set the data type size using the D type attribute within a NumPy array. Okay. What we will do, we will set the data type as string and set the size to 5. Okay, let's see. Import NumPy add an alias np now now use the array object add an array let me print something so herein we printed 5 here we created an array of strings with the 5 values ok now I'll be using the d type to set the type I'll be setting the s5 type that is for strings and uh, I'll be printing it. Okay. 
I'll be printing the data type now end dot d type d type attribute file save all right click and run it run demo 3 let's see what is visible okay the following is visible that is the type so herein we set the data type string with the value 5 so it is s5 visible here s means for string and 5 means for the size okay and we printed the data type after that now let us see our last example in which we'll convert one data type to another in numpy we'll be using the as type method what this method will do this will create a copy of an array and then set the new data type simple this is how using the as using the as type method we can convert one data type to another we'll see an example Okay, let us see the example. We will be converting one type to another. Import numpy as np. np is an alias. For our numpy library, create an array object is equal to numpy dot array method to create a new array. Let me add some values. Let me add some values. Okay, we added five integer values. Now I'll print it. Now I'll also print that data type using the using the D type attribute. Now what I'll do, I'll just uh, save all and I'll just right click and print so that we know what we are doing till now. This is what we printed. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll create a new object array object and I'll use the as type method with the previous array that is n dot as type and within that I'll be adding the new data type to which I want to convert that is from u2 here to my integer that is in 32 for that I use the as type method now I'll print it I'll also print the type using d type attribute that's it so that it's easier for us to understand file save all right click run demo 4 so now you can see we printed our first array and displayed the data type then we converted this u2 to in 32 using the as type method okay here it is so guys in this video we saw how we can easily work around data types in numpy we displayed the data types we also added a data type using dtype attribute and we also converted one data type to another using the following as type method